Would you like to learn how to do the side to side step with your hips? Stay in this video because I'm gonna teach you how to. Hello, I'm Thayda Palma from dancepandemic.com and in this video, as I told you before, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you how to do the side to side step including your hips, coordinating it with your hips. So, first of all, I need you to think about two things. Two things. First of all, the, blah, 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 blah. the first one would be going one and two and open, close, open, close, open, close. So your feet are very, very easy to move here. It's just an open, close movement. It doesn't have any secrets. It's an easy thing to do. If you haven't seen my video about the figure of eight forward, please go and see it. You will see the link below. Because um, you need to know how to do that movement properly before coordinating it with this side to side step. Um, so what I'm gonna do is to mix half of that figure of eight only with one hip with the side to side step. So as you remember, or you can check it now if you want, when we do the figure of eight forward, so from back to front, we change the weights from one feet to the other one, and we also twist our hips. I'm gonna take advantage. Uh, I'm gonna take advantage of that weight changing from one feet to the other one to open my feet. So I will. And don't worry, because I'm gonna show you the movement uh, after the explanation from my back so you can copy me now you can mirror me okay i'm gonna open my i'm gonna speak as if i were you i'm gonna open my right leg to the right and i'm gonna go with my left hip from back to front now it's time to change my weight as if you were doing the figure of eight for going forward so i change my weight to my left and i come back to the center with the other leg then i go back with my left hip, I open my right leg, I do the circle and I change my weight. Okay? From back, from my back. I'm gonna use this figure of eight, only half of it, only with my... I'm gonna do this figure of eight, only half of it with my left hip, okay? From back to front. So, when I twist my hip, I have my left hip back, I put the weight on my left, I open my right leg, and then I go forward with my left hip. Now it's time to change my weight to my right. So I change my weight, my left foot is free now, and I come back to the center. And I go back, weight to the left, open my leg, circle forward, and close. You can also think about it as if you were drawing only one circle with one hip as you do the step to the other side. So that would be this. One circle, one circle, and now change, one circle, and one circle. As always, the challenge in belly dance is to isolate the movements, to isolate your hip movements from your chest movements. One and two and one. I will show you it from my back. That would be one and two and one and two and one. Please don't get frustrated if you don't get the movement uh, in your first try. It's, you have to keep on practicing. Please do it. Don't watch the video and actually do it because that's the way you're gonna learn it. And if you find very very difficult to coordinate these two movements, so like the, the feet opening and closing and the hip movement, I suggest you just to forget about everything and to practice opening and closing your feet and moving your hip without any control, without thinking what do you really want to do because you're gonna, you have to get used a little bit before to the hip movement in any way before coordinating any particular one with your hip. So if you have found this video useful, please 
thumbs up in YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel and go to my website dancepandemic.com and subscribe to my newsletter because I share things in my emails that you won't find anywhere else. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.